Foreign Minister Yitzhak Shamir, who was Prime Minister when the controversy started, was followed by other members of the Government of National Unity. But the main decision was already taken. There would be a police inquiry, but no judicial investigation for the moment. The inquiry is expected to be wide-ranging and free to implicate past and present members of the government and the security forces. The announcement by Cabinet Secretary Yossi Bellin confirmed the Israeli obsession with the scandal. At the end of the meeting, the Attorney General informed the government that he will report to the High Court of Justice that the police inquiry is to continue. The Attorney General's recommendation of a judicial committee of inquiry was rejected. The High Court will there have been leaks before, and this has worried Israeli Energy Minister Moshe Shachel. I think it is, it is not a uh, good decision. I think that uh, the uh, uh, secrecy will not be maintained. I think that uh, there is no fair chance to uh, those members of the uh, security people to, uh, to have a fair chance to defend themselves. But the decision is uh, according to the law, and nobody can complain against that. A government of national unity. There's more than a touch of irony to the phrase. Israel's fragile coalition government has lasted for two years, despite a dozen major squabbles which could have brought it down. The latest one has sparked a major resignation. Justice Minister Yitzhak Modai handed in his letter after crossing swords with Prime Minister Shimon Peres yet again. There's never been any love lost between the two men. In April, Modai set off a crisis by attacking the way Peres was handling Israel's shaky economy. The last straw came when he lashed out at the way Perez has handled the scandal surrounding Israel's secret service. But one thing Modai made clear at his news conference was that he didn't want to wait to be fired. That might have caused his conservative opposition party, the Likud, to pull out of the coalition and the government to fall. Then his foe, Perez, could call new elections, which right now he stands a good chance of winning. Under a power-sharing agreement, Modai's Likud party comes into power in three months' time with Yitzhak Shamir at the helm. Modai might try to stage a comeback. But there's bound to be plenty of opposition to that. And once again, Israel's government of national unity is likely to be far from unified.